Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have my last Allure beauty box, at least for the time being. Back in 2020 when they announced their price increase to $23 per month I took advantage of the offer they were doing to give you the annual subscription for the old price of $169 for the year which I thought was a fantastic deal especially with the mega bundle that also came with that subscription but I decided to go ahead and cancel my subscription because I do open a few other beauty boxes here on the channel and I just don't use that much skincare or that much makeup so it seemed like an obvious choice to make a little extra room in my budget for the boxes that I do pay for I do still think that the Allure Beauty Box is a fantastic deal. Again, at $23 per month, they always promise that you will get six or more items, of which three or more will be full size. Sometimes that might mean a sheet mask, but they also promise a value of over $100 in every box. And I have been really happy with the balance of the box in terms of between skincare and makeup items, usually a little bit heavier on the skincare side. I've gotten to try some brands, some luxury brands that I probably wouldn't get to try otherwise. And I've always had a lot of gifts that I could give to my friends and family and to all of you as well. I might come back to this box at some point, but for now, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a break. Just in case you are thinking of canceling as well, remember you do actually have to email them. I canceled and I got an email back confirming that cancellation. And yet this morning, I woke up to a $269 charge on my card, which I guess is the going rate for the annual subscription now. I did reach out to them on the phone and they told me it was just an error on their part and they would refund that charge. So hopefully by the time you're all seeing this video that has been rectified, but I will definitely keep you updated Don't you worry? So let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we have got for my last one for a little while Just says from the beauty experts I do kind of miss the nice boxes that they had even though I kind of had too many of them sort of stacking up so we have our nice little pamphlet that has a, usually a little note from the editor and then some um, little descriptions, experiences, uh, anecdotes from all of the people that are on staff there who have used the products before sending them to us. It says throwback, no hype, no hyperbole, hyaluronic acid is widely considered one of the best moisturizers around. Allure reported this back in the early 2000s. Years later, I'm still watching Bring It On and I still swear by hyaluronic acid for the dewiest skin. Sometimes you just can't beat the classics. While you won't find butterfly clips or low slung belts in this month's box, some things are worth moving on from. Oh, I totally remember those low slung belts, you guys. You are getting a hyaluronic acid routine, toner, moisturizer, and mask for happy, hydrated skin. Love that, that thinking about the whole routine here. Plus a berry cream blush and glinty copper liner for your glowiest summer look yet, even though this is the August box, so we're kind of moving out of summer, but that is totally fine. But I love that they kind of thought about a whole routine so you can use all of the products in conjunction with one another. This is a fun box to watch unboxings of because there are often some variations. So you can see, for example, on this page, they're showing you that you could have received um, one of the three different things here. So I will prop this up in front of me. I do usually read the descriptions and let you know the prices and everything. There is now this new insert that they have um, that's usually like tips for how to use one of the items, kind of focusing, featuring on it. This one says how to get the most out of antioxidants, which is kind of one of those those like trendy words that's in all of the descriptions about how there's antioxidants and you just kind of know that they're good for you but you don't necessarily know how they work. So it says antioxidants are skincare power players. They can prevent or reduce damage to our skin by neutralizing free radicals from daily aggressors like UV damage and air pollution. Antioxidants can also lessen inflammation, address wrinkles and loss of firmness and boost hydration to help keep skin healthy and radiant. Here are our tips for using them effectively. So I'll just give you the highlights. It says choose a blend, look for dark patterns, packaging, layer wisely, and timing is everything. So that is kind of an important thing to look for a dark packaging because that's the most stable antioxidants usually come in an opaque bottle or, or jar. All right, so I'm gonna put that off to the side and we will get into our products. So this one is from 111 Skin and um, the box is already torn. You guys, I always struggle with opening up these boxes, but I can tell you right now that this one is already torn. So I love that this is a full size product. You guys, this is probably gonna be a really good box to sort of uh, have as my Allure Beauty Box finale because this full size product from 
Harley Street London, this Y Theorem Day Cream, and then it says NAC Y squared. Wow, it's got quite the name. This has a value of $270, which I guess basically would have paid for my entire annual subscription in this beautiful little plum colored jar. So it says a little bit of this rich cream goes a long way and leaves my dry skin feeling soft and moisturized throughout the day. The hyaluronic acid formula is intensely hydrating but won't clog oily areas such as the T-zone. I asked a colleague with Kim combination skin beauty assistant Michelle Ore to put it to the test too. She loved that it kept her skin smooth but not shiny. Even though I moisturize in the morning, my cheeks and forehead are usually parched again by nighttime, she says. But my complexion felt as hydrated in the evening as it did when I massaged this 111 skin cream on after breakfast. So that is awesome. I kind of have combination skin, although like uh, like it's not the T-zone that's necessarily dry, but I love a good day cream and the fact that I, I am totally swayed sometimes by the prices on, on skincare, not that I would necessarily pay for it, not that I necessarily think that this is better than like a drugstore brand, but I'm certainly willing to give it a try when it's sent to me in a budget-friendly beauty box. So I'm excited to try that and I really appreciate that we got that full size um, because I feel like sometimes when you get like the, the sample sizes, like you don't have enough time with it to decide if it's actually working for your skin, right? Could just be like the day, could be the weather that week. Um, let's see what we've got here. We've got a Vita Brand C12 um, Dual Drop Serum. So this is a little sample size. I'm guessing this is one of the like variation items. It is. So you could have gotten the Decorte Moisture Liposome Serum, the Decorte AQ Serum Absolute, or this Vita Brand C12 Dual Drop Serum. So this is what this is. It says that the full size price is $6. $62. I do wish that they would tell us kind of like what the milliliters were on the full size so that we could kind of do the math and figure out how much this little sample size is worth. This says vitamin C, peptides, and hyaluronic acid have starring roles in this K-Beauty serum, which Allure editors have been known to fall in love with, a direct quote from one colleague. After just two weeks, it delivers brighter, smoother, and thoroughly moisturized skin. So this is what it looks like, a little dropper bottle. Mine kind of looks a little bit empty. You guys can see there's like a good like uh, three quarters of an inch down here, but this is the little dropper bottle. Always gotta love some K-Beauty. I, I don't really know that much about it, even though I am Korean, but I know it's good for you. So definitely happy to try that. Kind of curious that it's like um, not quite full, but that's all right. Um, it is a good size though, in all honesty, because like they said, a little does go a long way. So I'll have to give that a try. So we got our day cream and we got our serum. I think they go in the reverse order though, if you're doing everything. All right, uh, doing everything like dewy skin. <laughs> so this is a blush serum. So let me see if I can find this. Of course, they show it like not not the same size here. It's a little like, deceptive there in their picture. So this has a value of $16. I'm wondering if that's for a full size or for this little guy. It says, as the weather gets sweatier, I wear less and less clothes and makeup. My beauty routine gets streamlined to feather light formulas like this blush serum, a raspberry tone cream blush. I've never seen a cream blush like in a little tube like this. This is cool. A raspberry tone cream blush. I dab the opening of the tube onto the back of my hand without squeezing to dispense a pin drop of the intense yet sheer pigment then tap it onto my cheekbones just below the corner of my eyes blending out toward my temples this placement brightens my eyes while creating a dreamy lifted effect whatever is left on my finger i smudge onto my lips for a coordinating blurred stain from there on all i need is mascara again this has a value of 16 dollars i guess this is a full-size product because it's just a little a little blush i don't usually use blush because i have naturally very rosy treaks i'm usually trying to like tone that down a little bit so this is probably an item that i will pass on to someone else who likes their blush, but I do like kind of like the idea of not having to have a brush with you to apply it. All right, we have something from Haru Haru Wonder, another little sample size. Let me find this in here. I think this might have been another variation in the box. I'm still really wowed by that um, day cream. So let's see if I can find this. Where is this? Hmm. All right, so it just has a totally different looking bottle in the picture. Let me show you. It's got this like smoky like glass bottle. So it says this has a price of $37. Again, that's the full size. I don't know how big the full size is compared to this little, I'm guessing like one fluid ounce. Oh no, 0.4 fluid ounces. It says, let's get one thing straight. This isn't the toner of your teenage years. Black rice extract and hyaluronic acid top the ingredient list of this hydrating formula. After cleansing, I pour a few drops into the the palm of my hand. You can also use a cotton pad. Then gently press into my skin from my forehead to my neck. I'm met with immediate hydration and dewiness. 
that's that's one of those words you guys uh, perfect prep step for the rest of my routine so again I've said it before but I don't know why we're all so obsessed with having dewy skin to me that just means that you're like a little bit shiny and you might want to use some like powder to kind of calm things down but that's just coming from me who is someone who does kind of have oily shiny skin so I'm always trying to look a little less dewy I don't know all right you guys so I think there might have been nope that, that's not a variation I think we also got this item in here here is our, uh, it's by Real Her. I'm recognizing the packaging. I am resilient. And of course the I there is E-Y-E. -E. So this is that liner they were talking about for summer. Of course it's taped closed. And of course it's in one of these packages that I could never ever open nicely. But I will do my best, you guys. So I'm gonna have to just dig my fingernail in there. And if you ever get anything, I say it all the time, but if you ever get anything from me in a giveaway where the packaging, I have like, you know, torn the seal open. I haven't used Use the product I just had to get into the packaging so that we could actually see it a little bit better now I've got the tab open but I can't manage to pull the little pencil out so I might be caught on something because I tried to be sneaky and open it from the bottom but sneakiness does not always pay off so let me see if I can pull this out in the meantime I will turn to the page so that I could read a little bit about it to you so this is probably considered one of our full-size items as well because it is an eyeliner and it has a value of $16 so I think the two full-size items uh, that we've done so far were of course the uh, blush as well as that nice big jar of moisturizer can't quite get it I don't know why it won't let me get it so let me open up the other side I was trying not to do it without um, ripping into the little sticker that seals. It's kind of funny that they seal one side and then they, they don't seal the other side, but maybe it's because they know that you can't get the pencil out of the bottom without uh, tearing the little sticker tab. Almost there. It's just gonna look like a pencil in the, in the long run. We're gonna do all this work to get this open and destroy this poor little, destroy this poor little package just so that we can see that it looks indeed like a pencil. So here it is. It was just because the cap was on the top, so it was hard to pull out, but this is a really pretty like color. I was worried when they said that it was like coppery, that it was gonna be something that wouldn't really show up, but I think that it will. So yes, this is what you can see. It's one of those self sharpening ones. It says, I used to think cat eyes had to be done in dark black liquid eyeliner, an unforgiving medium that I could rarely perfect, but this creamy metallic pencil was made for smudging into soft wings and its copper tone makes my dark brown brown eyes glow. I start with a small line from the center of my lash to my outer corner where I build up color and intensity. Then I'll use a dense smudge brush to blend out further and into a wing. Sometimes if I want to look crisp, I use a Q-tip and makeup remover to clean up the wing. My eyes are on the greasier side, but this metallic liner doesn't shape shift. That's good to hear. Um, that sounds like a lot of work using the uh, makeup remover and everything, but it does look like a nice fine point. I wish that they would like come up with a way of like sharpening it back into that nice fine point. I'm sure there is like a tool that allows you to do that on on pencils like this but I don't actually do like winged eyeliner these days I did get kind of a lighter color like you know metallic coppery color in a past Allure Beauty box like just a few months ago and I honestly thought I would use it more this summer than I have because I feel like it just looks like my eyeshadow has kind of like fallen down around my eyes but this one looks a little bit darker so I might give it a try just for like kind of a softer look because I don't usually wear um, eyeliner on the bottom uh, during the day just because it looks like a little bit too intense it looks a little bit too much like a nighttime look so something softer like this might actually be a good thing so that is a makeup item that I might hold on to then we have one final item and it looks to be yes indeed a sheet mask so technically I could say we've got four full-size products in here because a lot of the times like I said they do count sheet masks as a full-size item so this is what it looks like it has a value of wow this says 1990 $19.90. Maybe this is a sample. I don't know. So it says, if my beauty routine were a video game, I would have just gotten through an impossible level, successfully wearing a sheet mask while blow drying my hair. Even though this cotton mask is soaked in serum, it didn't slip or slide as I went about my morning. 15 minutes later, the hyaluronic acid infused formula left my parched skin plump and refreshed. I also noticed a bit of brightening thanks to exfoliating willow bark. That's an impressive return on investment considering it took me seconds to apply. No downtime required. So even this sheet mask has a high acid in it. This is an expensive sheet mask, you guys. It's like a $20 sheet mask, which to me seems kind of crazy. And that's one of those things that like I would never buy for myself. I would only enjoy it from, from a nice uh, beauty box like this. 
I wonder what happens when you use this much hyaluronic acid. The fact that they gave us like so many products, I feel like at some point your skin is going to be saturated with it and it might not actually like work. But anyway, let's just talk about what we did get. We got this Real Her pencil in this really pretty metallic bronze color. We got the blush serum, which I do just think that the container that it came in is kind of cool. We got that nice sheet mask that apparently has willow bark and hyaluronic acid in it. And then just kind of going in order of how how we would use things we did get our um, Haru Haru Wonder toner and then we also got our where is this our Vita Vita Brid 12 C12 serum with hyaluronic acid and then finally we got our 111 skin day cream so those three items I don't know if you'd use them in conjunction but I think that's the order you're supposed to use them in I'm definitely the most excited about this I do think this was a good box to end on it does feel like a lot of items that I will use um, the only thing that I might not use honestly is the blush because again the rosy cheeks but you guys let me know what you thought about it like I said I'm gonna take a little break from Allure for a while if you guys have any more suggestions for other beauty boxes or boxes in general that you'd like to see here on the channel I am always open to suggestions and I will see what I can do about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.